the stars are going to fall to earth. I take the Bible literally. It's scientifically accurate. Really? Well, okay. We've got some big trouble if Betelgeuse is headed our way. And the constellations, you know, they say this is a galaxy, right? And all those points of light are suns with planets going around them. And all that's headed our way? It's not what it says. If you take it literally, you're going to fall into great error. And oh, by the way, there's supposedly billions of those out there too. All of that is coming to this place right here. No, it's not. Somebody's no. lying. Somebody's lying. Yes, Skiba. I am not prepared to say that it's Isaiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Son of God himself, Peter, and John. I'm going to go with, you know what, Carl Sagan, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Mitsu Kaku, et al. You guys are lying. Sorry there, Skiba. This is the false dichotomy fallacy. Skiba's only given his audience two choices. He fails to tell you that there is another choice. He doesn't say, well, I could be wrong in my interpretation. In saying that it's either scientists versus Jesus, Peter, and John, he is assuming that his faulty, hyper-literal interpretation is correct, and there's no way for it to be wrong.